It's super important for us to collaborate with leading physicians just like Dr. Rice and Dr. De Villiers here at the Gold Coast Health and Knowledge Precinct because they're so actively involved in pushing forward the envelope. So at Gold Coast University Hospital, we do a lot of innovative uh, treatments of uh, problems with the brain and mainly the blood vessels in the brain. We unblock those blood vessels by navigating through the patient's wrist or groin up into the brain and physically removing that blood clot to restore blood flow. So we're one of the busiest centres in this country. We've now had almost 10 years of an established practice uh, with a lot of involvement in clinical trials and new devices. First in human, we've been having visitors from overseas uh, watch us operate on patients with brain aneurysms or strokes and then furthermore train them on 3D printed models. They're literally able to repair every case that we've ever repaired using the 3D model. So 3D printed models um, have changed the way we train people. You can actually take a specific patient's anatomy or their condition, it gets 3D printed and then you can practice how you're going to treat that specific aneurysm in that specific patient. We get supplied data in CT, scan or MRI uh, form and we have to turn that into something that basically can be 3D printed. We need extremely high resolution. These things are very small. Of course in the body there's a blood pressure and there's a pulse so we have to replicate that as much as we can. We have clinical partnerships throughout the world, 500, 600 clinical sites. But what makes this place unique is that this site is not in a hospital. A separate standalone facility where there are no patients. We need a lot of very expensive equipment and, and the most expensive piece of equipment is the imaging system which we have a fantastic partnership with Philips which allows us to then train people in a very realistic intraoperative setting using facilities that are second to none around the world. If you really want to amplify the number of people that get trained on using technology, this is the type of place you want to do it at. This is a key hub to access a huge part of the world, the entire Asia Pacific region. Robotics and automation is the, one of the big elements of the future in endovascular treatment. The future is going to be an interventional suite powered by even better imaging, perhaps essentially imaging without radiation. We're going to have even smarter, smaller endovascular devices. It's going to be a suite powered by artificial intelligence and augmented reality and procedural automation, 3D printing. And it's exactly why we want to be here in partnership with the Gold Coast because it's, it's the same future technology that they're looking at as well. We're really excited about our partnership with Northwest who are collaborating with us. Um, they're building a new building in the precinct next to Gold Coast uh, Private Hospital, which we're part of in the future. And so this centre really is a proof in concept, which over the next two to three years will show our vision coming to life and, and really how it progresses into the future uh, as technology improves.